Hey everyone, today it's going to be a little noisier than normal. I forgot my headphones, but wanted to get this video out to you and let you know what's going on. As you probably know by now, the fundraisers that we did didn't make it. Uh, so we're still financially in the same place we were. Uh, so Anna and I had to sit down and we talked and we prayed. Um, we've been doing it for the whole month and then for the next couple of days trying to figure out what we should do, uh, what we needed to do. And it just came down to the question, if money was not an option, money was not a problem, debt was not a problem, none of that was a problem, where would we be and what would we be doing? And that would be here doing exactly the same thing. So we're going to step out and continue doing the ministry. We've, what we've done over the last year is we've laid the foundation uh, with the relationships we've made, the friendships we've made with our students. Uh, we've enjoyed getting to know them, uh, talking with them, and developing that trust where we can start to speak more truth into their lives. Uh, what we're hoping to do this next semester is move beyond just the game nights, fun nights, hang out, because that's more for building relationships and getting to know people. Um, we want to start a Bible study. Um, be praying for us because that's in the first couple of weeks of class, and we'll be talking with my students and finding out who would be interested in joining a Bible study once a week just to hang out and find out what Christianity is about. Uh, for those who are already Christians to just sit down and learn together. To do those things, to continue to do the game night and to do a Bible study once or twice a week or more, depending on who's interested and who's free, uh, we needed a space to do it. Uh, where we're living now at Anne's mom's house is not, it's further away than our students will go. It's in the wrong direction since it's not halfway between Chiang Mai, it's not an easy stop off point for anywhere. and we just don't have a good location or like a good seating area, hangout area. So uh, we want to use this space here. Uh, this is a restaurant area that's directly across from the university. Uh, we'll be able to use this for at least the next seven years. Uh, and what I was thinking and what Ann and I have talked about and agreed is probably a good idea, is to not just, you know, rent this space and only use it in the evenings once or two, one or two nights a week, um, but what we'd like to do is open a coffee shop in this space. Uh, we have one supporter, for sure, um, who will help us be able to get the coffee grinder, uh, which is probably the most important piece of equipment. Uh, then we can get a decent espresso machine, one that's probably not made to do lots of cups of coffee every day repeatedly, but one that can still produce a good cup of coffee. And then as we grow, we'll get a better espresso machine. Um, and one other person we're still waiting to hear back from. Um, if, if we get help from there as well, then we'll be able to get the coffee machine and the coffee grinder together, uh, which will give us a great foundation to get started. Uh, because those are the two biggest costs for starting up right now. Because we have the space, um, most of the equipment that you see in here, we will be able to use uh, because it belongs to Anne's family. Uh, so they're helping us get started as well. We will need to put in one more air conditioning unit. One was taken off the wall uh, when they closed the restaurant because they moved it next door to the internet shop. Uh, to cool it off. So we will need to invest in an air conditioning unit soon um, because that's going to be one of the main draws of this place is that it has air conditioning. Um, there's two other coffee shops in this area. One makes really good coffee um, but has no air conditioning. One makes decent coffee uh, but has no air, air conditioning. So air conditioning will be one draw and if we can make quality coffee, quality smoothies, um, then we'll be able to develop a client base and grow this into not just a coffee shop but a restaurant and praying that in the future it will be a place where we can do um, church. So that's our vision of where we're headed. Um, so I want to let everyone know, yeah, we're still planning on staying here. We're still going to keep working with the students. I'm still going to keep 
keep teaching at the university. Um, this is where we feel God has put us. This is where we feel that we're supposed to be. So we're still praying for more supporters to help us out, uh, to make it a little bit easier to do some fun things. Uh, some ideas that we've had for this next year uh, are setting up a camping night, invite all the students to go out and go camping and hang out and do activities one evening. Um, we'd like to be able to do some kind of social service um, where we can bring the students in here and do Bible studies and do this, but also where we can go out and serve the community. We're still looking around to find an area of need that we can serve. Um, but that's where we're all at. Back. As far as the coffee shop goes, um, we'll probably buy the equipment that we're lacking this month, um, August, and then I'll be looking for one or two baristas to come and uh, start out here. Uh, because when we first opened, Amble just had the baby and we'll still be taking care of the baby. And since we won't be able to build the uh, bathroom area for the baby for Anne to be able to take care of the baby and the restaurant at the same time, and probably won't work here at first. She'll probably stay at home for the first three to six months, at least six months most likely. And then after that, we come to the coffee shop and uh, help out here. Um, so that's, that's kind of where we're at right now. Uh, one other piece of news is we did go ahead and take out a loan. We purchased a vehicle. Uh, so we will be able to get Anne to the hospital and get the baby and Anne around safely. We will be on the motorbike for those things. So that's a huge thank you to God that we were able to get the loan and get a car that seems to be a decent car. It's only six years old. It only has like 30,000 miles on it. It's, it's a good car. It was a great price thanks to Anne's dad knowing the owner of the shop. So uh, that was it's a huge it's a huge blessing for us to be able to get that. Um, and then as far as the living situation right now, we're just going to continue to stay in Anne's mom's house because it's rent free. Um, we'll try and pay off the car as fast as we can and then start saving up money to uh, build either just a small place to live at first and then save up money for a full house or save up the funds fast enough that we'll save up and get and build, start building that house that we had in the front uh, the, So the housing situation is still up in the air. We'll see how that goes. But again, thank you everyone who did offer to contribute. Uh, thank you everyone who offered to contribute and then still is offering to send your funds to help us. Uh, that is just, we can't thank you enough. Uh, we can't do ministry without people helping us. Uh, if we lost all of our supporters in one day, we could still open the coffee shop, but instead of me being able to do ministry, I would be teaching English extra all day, every day, um, to make ends meet. So, the people who help us out aren't just helping us live, but they're actually giving us the time, giving us the ability to do ministry, to be able to get into people's lives and spend quality time with them. So all of this that we do is not possible without you guys helping us. And so Anne and I just want to say a big thank you. There's no way we could ever repay everyone who's helped us out along the way. There's no way we could give back to those people anything to even remotely show how much they helped us. But what we can do is continue to pay that forward, continue to help our students out when they need it, feed them, uh, take care of them, show them who Christ, who God really is. So, again, we love you guys. Thank you for everything. Uh, please keep praying for us. And uh, baby should be here tomorrow. Thanks, everyone. We love you. Before we go, I want to give you a good view of the coffee shop. It has a nice front glass there, which we'll probably end up covering with curtains as the setting sun just comes flying in here. And if you look right across the street there, that is the entrance to the university. So 
So right across the street, we'll have great access to students and to teachers who have already expressed excitement at us opening a new coffee shop. And here's the area. What we're envisioning is in the future, as we grow, right now, that we're gonna move over here and do all of our making of the coffee, making of the drinks in this area. Back in this corner is where we're gonna put that indoor bathroom for Anne to take care of the baby. Um, so we can take care of the baby here. And then out back, there's already a kitchen area for when we want to start doing uh, food. And then this area here, place to sit and do homework, chill, hang out, and use computers here, plug them in. Um, that's where that air conditioner is missing. We have one, but it's not enough for this whole area. So, this is the space we're looking at.